now uh, talking little bit about you i mean how did you come up with that power zone story how did you discover your own power zone because we are seeing that you have been now are uh, teaching uh, for almost uh, many many years and decade long years right so how did you realize that what is your power zone or how did you discover that thank you for asking i appreciate that um so i knew very young i i had this innate calling since i was a very young girl i actually sought out different teachers and wanted to learn and felt that innate greatness inside of all of us okay that's that's i i felt that and i had that pull forward and i didn't understand what that was going to look like how it was going to show up but i knew i had something greater to impart and to bring forth now with that said it requires a journey okay it requires a journey i'm very much believer that greatness doesn't just show up it comes forth from every push and pull that we have to struggle we have to learn we have to pull ourselves up and come to a new level of wisdom so with that said i have a a a big story but in in the time constraints we have i'll share a little bit with the viewers okay sure. with that um so growing up i was i was raised in a family um that didn't say honor the values that I, that I honor and bring forward in my family and I went through a lot of pain a lot of heartache and if you will abuse and that caused me to marry that same type of individual and that yeah and in that situation you know still trying to do the things I want to do I was you know inspire and grow and do businesses and what not I was still living in this vacuum of abuse and one particular story um that i share when i get a chance to speak about it because i want people to know i didn't just arrive it was a calling and it was a commitment to claim it and i am a domestic violence survivor yeah one in which this is back um it happened during the course of the 80s and 90s and and uh one in which the district attorney, the US district attorney said that I'm the worst case of domestic violence he ever saw that I'm lucky to be alive. And in that in that situation of going through all that I did and then finally be able to get the help I need and mind you. So I want people to hear this because I'm an intelligent confident businesswoman. But you can be an intelligent confident businesswoman and still be caught in that cycle because it is not about intelligence. There's a lot of different aspects that go to it. I coach many US senators and different people that come to me for that element alone. And so there comes a point though that you will tell different people and people will say do this, do that, just do this, make it right. And and at one point finally somebody said, "Hey, Do you hear yourself? You're being abused. I'm like, "Yeah, I've been saying this for a long time, but nobody's hearing me." And when I finally had my voice heard, now that's where the power zone comes in. When someone finally said, "You know, you need to get out." I'm like, "Absolutely." And I started the course of doing that. And in doing that, then I was able to to go through all the legal things, right? So this is part of the story. Also, there's a lot of things with it, but um i end up having to to get safe from it i end up having to move to way over a halfway in another part of the state of california i never lived there before i didn't have any friends i didn't have any family i didn't have a job i was a single mother with two young children no place to live nothing and i had to restart my life okay and it, and then i had to go through all the battles with the court and protection from the police so having to do this the one day we were we had all the affidavits signed we had the hospital records we had all of of that ready to go right and during this I'm protecting my children and uh, he didn't stop during this and the DA calls me district attorney calls me and says Renee um i have some news for you are you sitting down and i'm like no he says well we have an iron clad case We we have all of this evidence. We know we have them for four felony counts. We've been supporting you. You know, we've been trying to keep you safe. Unfortunately, somebody forgot to 
cross the T and dot the I, basically sign a document. And we missed the statute of limitations by 180 days. And there's nothing else we can do for you. I'm so sorry. I have to tell you that in that moment after we hung up, I dropped to my knees. I had battled this trying to get out of, it was a comfort zone. And once I finally realized that, okay, right? Um, I battled that to fight my way out to my power zone. I knew I had something greater. And now who I thought was going to protect me couldn't protect me. And fast forward, I was being interviewed on one of the TV shows uh, after my book was published. And I remember the interviewing interviewer say, what did it feel like? What did it feel like when the DA said, you know, he didn't have the power to do anything. And I remember in that moment telling him, the interviewer, the DA never had the power. I always had the power. And when I realized that, that's when my life changed. And in that moment that I fell to my knees during that and I pulled myself back up and I realized, okay, but I'm a mama bear. What can I do about that? And so I actually, in short, ver I'm giving you a short version for your viewers, but I actually put myself back to school, Lincoln Law School online. I learned enough that I could actually file all the documents. I could go to court to protect my children at the very least. And I sat next to my ex and his high powered attorney, just me, myself, and I, and talked to the judge from my power zone. And do you know what happened? I got what no other freaking attorney could get. And I left the courtroom protecting my children. And when I walked out, uh, another gentleman walked, ran up to me, what law firm do you work for? I said, I don't. He says, wow, I, it felt good to be recognized that I had this power to protect ourselves. And so what I want your viewers to take away from that is that was a really crappy situation. I had, I was hospitalized. I had major things happen to me, okay? So whatever your struggle is, it doesn't have to be near life and death like me, okay? Whatever that struggle is, if you now can look back in hindsight and you can see it for the gift it is, that can be hard to do when you're in the midst of it. Sometimes you have to get out of it a little bit. But when I said in the beginning, I started my story, when you can see the gifts it gave you to struggle, to master, to reach, to pull, to find that voice, and then lock and load that in a way you can serve others, that's where you're gonna make the greatest difference. And so I now share that with pride and was able to turn that only not only into my business, but also a international nonprofit where I'm a co-founder of Sheroes United. Okay. And we help women become Sheroes in their own life and overcome domestic violence, okay. sex trafficking, and, and um, uh, women warriors overcoming the, the perils that happen in those situations so you know when we learn to be that shiro that hero in our own life and we find that voice that's where the magic happens and so thank you for letting me share that intimate part but also very a very strong part of my my personal story absolutely absolutely thank you very much Renee. i think this is truly inspiring and uh, not only for me but as a male, uh, we never realize that, yes, as women uh, go through such atrocities, right? Uh, they have to find more courage than the men, honestly speaking, to come up to that power zone that you realize in your life. And uh, I, I truly admire your courage for sure, uh, how you came up from there and now. Just for the viewers sake, uh, Rene is also IPEC ICF certified coach and uh, now she's running the, uh, the institute called Seran Seros, uh, right? Seros uh, United. Uh -huh. uh, it is actually about the people, especially the women who are victim of domestic violence and they are just creating them into the warrior, I would say to survive, not only survive, strive and thrive in the life. Champion. Champion it. Champion it. Absolutely. So thank you very much for sharing that story.